Shirley, it's not about that. You're not here to chat me now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, so, uh, what sort of music do you make? Well, I've been making music for the last 20 years. Oh, no, 30 years. 30? No, you don't look old enough. Ten. And, uh, yeah, I've mainly making re reggae music, dance music. Okay, yes, I like reggae. Anything in the dance era I do, so I do all the latest things that was happening through the 80s and the 90s. Ooh. The dubstep, dubstep, and, um, dubstep? and the jungle, jungle, and the drum and bass. And oh, so you're very diverse, aren't you? Very diverse. Yeah, I like to put my hands in everything. You know. Oh my goodness! And uh, uh, have you been anywhere special? What do you mean? Has he been anywhere special? What have you played anywhere special? Apart from the UK? Yes. Yeah, well, I have done really. I've been there for. You know, 20 years of it was like running around the world, you know, playing music. Okay. With, uh, with different, different, different bands. But the, the main band that I was working with, uh, I start from the top, come down. Is like the first band was uh, uh, UB40. Oh, I like them. Yes, I like yeah. in the kitchen. What I'm going to do? Yeah, all right, don't worry. Yes, about it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and I've uh, done. I've worked with many other artists as well from from the pop scene like um Kylie Salty Minogue. Song. Not, not Kylie Minogue. Mm -hmm. uh, no, Kylie Minogue. I wish I did though. Oh, yeah, so do I. There's some dance groups going on with Kylie oh, Minogue. Oh yeah, she's good and she likes this song. Yeah, well um yeah I've probably worked with Soul to Soul, we've worked with other radio bands like Aswad. Uh, we've worked with Maxi Priest. Oh yes I like him as well, yes. Yeah um, going because 'cause I'm uh, I do engineering, I've been doing engineering. I've worked with quite a few other people, but not as uh, in the band type okay. of thing, but like as an engineer. Mm -hmm. And that was with um, Rolling Stones. Oh my god, the Rolling Stones, that's really good, isn't it? It's it's very good. Yeah, it is. You, you know. Wow. That's the main job. <laughs> <laughs> so, what made you actually do this sort of stuff? I mean, why didn't you become a plumber? Why didn't you become a plumber? Yes. <laughs> Bored. No, I was a mechanic actually. So. A mechanic? Oh. So then I became a. Uh, yeah, became a musician because I just wanted to play music when I was 17, 18. So 18. What instrument did you play? Um, play? I'm a trumpet player first. Okay. And then I, I, my second uh, instrument is a uh, piano. Well, I wouldn't Ooh. call it piano, it's more of a keyboard. Okay. I could play and uh, I want to be still. That's very good. Play a little bit of drums and a little bit of bass. And that, a little bit of bass. So you're multi talented then, are you? I am, I am, I am. Mm. Have you done your own stuff as well? Yeah, quite a lot. Anything in the charts? I have had uh, tracks in the charts. I've had a dance track in the charts. Really? On my own label. Oh. Austin Records it was the label was. Okay. My, myself and a couple of friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that was a nice label whilst it was going. And uh, yeah, we had a hit. Uh, All Funked Up was a funky house hit. Okay. Club that hit. Sounds good. <laughs> back in 94. You know, wow. 94, 95 was pretty good. That was nice, mm. nice little run at the music business. Uh, that's cool. He's all right, isn't he? Yes, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're all right. Well, I, mean, I know it's because I'm so gorgeous. All right, behave yourself. No, no, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is there anyone else in your family who's into the entertainment business? Yeah, I've got a brother. He's into. He's a trombone player. Okay. Yeah, he does, does he work trombone. With you? He works for me. He used to work with me. We used to work together more okay. back in. Um, before, but now because I've taken like more of an engineering role and a writing role, and then you see that uh, 
Uh, I've invited you to my studio. That's right, it's nice, isn't it? I like the studio, yes. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm more, more on the production side, so I run my own labels and stuff and do my own productions. Wow. So, like, uh, with my brother, he's, uh, he does his own productions. And, okay. Uh, Playing the trombone and music. Very good. Very good. Very what good. do you call it, Sals? Uh, 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 back then we were called the Matic Horns. Is it like Matic 16? Yeah, the Matic 16 group, which we started on Brixton. Oh. And uh, yeah, we had, um, uh, at one point, the singer was uh, for the band uh, Levi Roots. And oh, Reggae Reggae Spice. Reggae Reggae Spice. Give me some Reggae Reggae Spice. <laughs> 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 I'm mean, you should have sung it. I'm going to sing 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 it. I'm going to Oh, wow. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we've done that. We've got, that's, that's, um, the band broke, the Matic 16 band broke down okay. at, 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 at some point. And then uh, my brother, myself and my brother just took on the, because uh, it was our band anyway. We okay. said, all right, we're the Matic horn section. The horn section from the Matic. So it became, it became Matic horns. And uh, we've done quite a lot of shows and gigs, Jamaican artists, British artists. Wow. European artist sessions, <clears throat> and then uh, I just got the bug to go to Germany. And that was it. Just went off. What happens in Germany? Uh, learning my le le learning this really, yes. craft, learning craft. And lots of buttons. Things. Lots of buttons. Yes, there's lots of buttons. <laughs> How do you know them all? There's so much. <laughs> but why? He loves a fish heads. <laughs> I know he's funny, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he's very funny. <laughs> So where do you think you'll go from here? From here now, um, more productions, working with, because uh, uh, my uh, sending the skill down to younger children. Okay. Younger You've got people. children as well? Yeah, I do have. Yeah. Got do you know I've, been in, I've been long enough on earth. <laughs> I try. They're great. So uh, yeah, I'm just basically into uh, Sending on all the skills that I've got and bring it down. I've got young artists that I'm working with, young okay. producers yes. I'm working with, so like they still keep me into the, uh, the sound of now, as we said. Because it's all changed now, hasn't it? It's all changed. Well, I don't know about it changing. Yeah, it changes. Yeah, there is changes, but like pretty much uh, we're all playing the, we're playing the same notes. Mm -hmm. So uh, the same, uh, the 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 same same kind of music will come around okay. after a while and you go oh i remember that and i remember that style and i remember that sound and you know it's just like i say old school is now school that's very good that's a good saying isn't it <laughs> so do you think that because all the music is sort of digital now is that like you're in bad sort of music business does it ruin the music business yes oh, that digital think. stuff yes mm. No, I don't really. There's no real instruments yeah. anymore. No, well, there's sounds, and people are more, people are gravitating to sounds now. So obviously, like the digital sound has its, has its flavour, and the flavour is, like sometimes uh, it's too much for me to achieve. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, and others, it's it's great. It just depends on what type of how you use a sound, in what type of music. Okay. Oh, there, you know. That's very good. Try to use your sounds. But yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm down with digital. Musically, did you have any influences? Did you have any influences? Yes. I just said that. You don't have to repeat anything. No, I'm not repeating. Yes, you are. I'm sorry. We talked about it this earlier on. I've got a lot of uh, people I aspire to. Like uh, B.B. King? B.B. King. Yes, he's yeah, very B. B. King. Yeah, B.B. King's very good. One of, he's one of the greats, you know. But I'm also aspire to people like Beethoven, who was, uh, the Black Boar of Germany. He was called the Black Boar of Germany. Ah, oh, it's a good name, isn't it? Good name. So, and yeah, so I, I, I'm inspired by uh, modern day people like like Stevie Wonder now, and I'm inspired by uh, even people like Jackie Mitchell. Okay. Who wrote, who wrote, who wrote uh, Labour of Love 1, actually, actually produced Labour of Love wow. 1 for UB40. That's good, isn't it? 
And it was a labor of love, literally. Love. It sounds like that. Yes, it does, doesn't it? He enjoyed it. Mm. So what would you tell a young and upcoming musician uh, to, get, you know, to get to the level you are? If they love their skill, if they love themselves and their skill, then pursue it, because that will bring happiness. Right? If they can control their skill and still have love for others, other aspects of life, mm. then they should control their music skill and also control their, their other skills at one. But once you're into music, that is it. You yes. know, and go all the way. Go all the way. And you certainly have gone all the way, all the way around the world and... I know I've done a fair share, Oh, that's very good. Is there anything else you want to ask him? I'm not sure. Is there anything you'd like to tell the kid? My daddy can give me a kiss. <laughs> I kissed him, I kissed him. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to wash my face again. I'm not going to wash it. Okay, you never wash it again. <laughs> so I start off. <laughs> I can't help myself. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Patrick. Yes, I thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Thank Patrick. You, sir. Yes, okay, and uh, well, we'll hope family. to see you again. You have a family. Shh, you're not such a More entertainment. <laughs> Okay, that's Patrick Tenu from, uh, well, XUB40 and a musician, and now he's a studio engineer. As Abba Original. Original, okay, yeah. thank you very much.